Greetings and welcome back to Hydraneer. All right, today we're going to do some surgery to our automation over here in order to uh, push this row out. Now there has been some suggestion what I should do is take this row and push it back here. But the thing is you're getting really close to the area which isn't mineable at that point. And besides, look at all that room. Seriously, look at all that room. I have lots of space to push it out this way. So I think that's probably the best solution. Uh, and I also have had some suggestions about not using a funnel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another ramp up. I already have it over there. I've done some purchasing. Nothing crazy, just enough to get this done, although there is one new thing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it drop into the, uh, the harvester and see if that works. The big thing is I don't want anything getting stuck because this is becoming a mess. By the way, I can get rid of this and I'm going to get rid of this. You see, there is actually a setting where you can go in here into gameplay and it says save dirt chunks and it's toggled on at the moment. Well, I'm going to basically turn that off so we get rid of this, but I want to fix this first. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so the first order of business is that I need these guys to be shipping over this way and then up. So I think that's probably where we're going to begin. But I am going to have to remove some things. So where is my hammer? By the way, I bought a lot of blocks. And they're actually kind of annoying to buy because unlike like in the back of the vehicle where you can stack them inside each other, you can't do that on the selling platform. So basically, I bought them four at a time, which is a little bit tedious. I don't understand why don't, they don't allow you to do that, put them inside each other on the selling platform. I, I have no idea. Maybe they, in case you're going to buy too much. I mean, you look at the price and see if there's a problem or not, right? All right, so let's do this. Oh, by the way, uh, I did get another suggestion. You'll notice that the runt iron bar is gone. I was told, you know, why don't you just dump it back in and melt it up? And that's exactly what I did, actually. And I let it run for a while, so I had some more blocks. As a matter of fact, I have an enormous one here for iron. Here, check this out. I think this is the right one. Yeah, look at that. 101, and that iron bar is 1215, just by itself. So these three are going to be a sword. And I think, is this the one here? Hold on a minute. Yeah, that one right there, 88 and it's 1767. That's the one that I made that includes that old iron, pardon me, gold bar. All right, where is my hammer? Because I'm going to be moving stuff. So I need to uh, make it movable, make it movable, make it movable, make it movable, make it movable. And this one, this one, this one, that, that, is that, uh, uh, that one right there, yeah, I need to change that one. All right. The rest of them should be okay. I don't think... No, I never hammered them into place. All right. So I'll leave this available to me. All right. So the first thing I want to do is try to get the direction going differently. All right. So you know what? Let me take this out and this out. All right. So if... I do have a bunch of money in case I need to buy some stuff. And of course, I can make a great sword and a great necklace. So money isn't really a problem right now. Getting this to work the way I want. That's what the problem is, right? All right, so put this over here. And I need to change this. Hold on a second. And I also need to change this one. All right, I did buy some extras because I'm going to need them, right? All right, so let's get the um, some of these new ones. All right, I bought the uh, the left and the right. I'm not sure which one I'm going with first. Let me see. I think maybe that one. I guess it really depends. Let's look at the direction. All right, so I'm putting this down. All right, rotate. That seems to be right. Where is the... Uh, Okay, so the water intake goes in there and comes out this way. All right, I need this now. Okay, hold on a minute. Uh, that is not going the right way. That way. All right, because I wanted to make a turn, go around here, and then come back this way. 
So that means I need the other turn now. All right, let's see. All right, and do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's actually, it's over here. All right, and that way, like that. Okay, and the pipe is good. All right, so at this point, I want them to start going up. All right, uh, let's rotate like that. All right, now I'm going to need a block because I need to put the, um, the other one of these up here. So let's just grab a block. I hope I have enough blocks because I have to fill that hole. All right, there. And then let's get this one. All right, this is the one it's going to be dropping it. I'm hoping it's going to work out. Hold it a second. And that, like that. Okay, is that going to be a problem? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think that should be a problem. All right, I guess we're going to find out. Uh, should I test it now? All right, so where is this? Boom, all right. And I'm going to have to rearrange the piping, obviously, right? All right, let's see. Uh, that's not the right way. That is. All right, so that's the thing. I was going to put a funnel up there, but apparently it can get stuck or something like that. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And also, I could probably turn that one off when the water starts spewing. I'm not sure if that one is on or off yet. I think that's the new one I bought, so I can probably do that. Okay, so let's see about this. This all needs to move. So I'm thinking I can add an extra straight pipe here. One, and then I can add another straight pipe here. Eventually, I may want to put a power thing going on here. Um, yeah, because this is the one that was plugging into this. This is going to be powering the conveyor over here. But I do need to move this one step this way. All right, let's get some, uh, get some piping going here. Oh, wrong one, wrong one. Might be useful, though. Might be useful. All right, you know... If the um, harvester doesn't have power right now, that may not be a bad thing. Uh, let's see. Nope, like that. And then let me put this guy back on. And then we'll worry about adapting it. All right. You there. Okay. Let's put that over there. Put that over there. Put that over there. Okay, that's still good. Actually, I need to move that a little more, I think. This is the one. Yeah, okay, hold on a minute. No, 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 that's right. That's right, that's right. All right, hold on a minute. I got a little confused there, like that. Is that right? Yes, it is. Right, because the thing is, this pipe's going to come out and go around it. All right, let's get some straight pipes here. I do have a lot of extra pipes, so it shouldn't be a problem. Although not at the moment in my hands. All right, and let's put this in here like that. Okay, so that means the harvester is getting what it needs, right? All right, so let's just see about the other, boom, boom, like that. The other one of those. All right, so I need multiple straight pipes now. Fortunately, like I said, I do have a bunch of them. So that shouldn't be an issue. By the way, I was also told that the, um, the repair kit, I forget what it's called again, does have a visual representation of when it is about to run out of repairs. See, normally, if you want a one-shot repair, okay, right there, then um, you get a wrench. But you'll notice this has a bunch of wrenches in it. But this is the new one. This is the one I've been using. Guess how many repairs it has left. So you can actually see it. And it looks like it's five total, which does make sense because I've used that four times. When I was running this before, I did have pipe problems. So I do have one left here. So uh, very smart development there. Very smart development. All right, so right here is where we're going to have the, um, the conveyors begin again.
right, when we move them. Um, yeah, that whole section is going to have to move, and I'm going to have to do that. All right, at the moment, though, we're just going to let it drop on the ground, assuming it actually works. Yeah, it's going to be a mess. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we got to test it to see if it's working, right? Uh, I'd say the first thing is just to watch the, uh, the current. Hold on, let me go over here. Okay, so... Oh, wait a second. Okay, it's going there. Whoa, it just... It was taking me on a trip. All right, so it's going this way, going this way, turning up this way. Oh, 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 I know what the problem is. This one was turned off. Yeah, right. Okay, and this one is water is coming out of it. All right. So I had... I turned this one off... But this one was off previously, so it wasn't feeding into this one. All right. Um, this is a terrible test, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, like I said, a terrible test. Um, I actually could probably use something smaller. How about you? Although I think you're probably... I guess it doesn't count because it's a special thing. All right, you know what? Here, tell you what. Why don't we just grab one of you? Okay, that looks like it was going to work. But of course, it's not supposed to go in there, right? All right, we're going to assume for the moment that that's going to work. Let's turn this off. Right, so we're going to assume for a moment that that's going to work. Now I need the conveyors going back this way. All right, hold it a minute here. Where is it? Okay. Nope, that way. And where was some more? Right, I had these. All right, and that way. And okay, and hold still. That way. All right, I do have another one. I did buy some others here. Hold on a second. Right, there we go. Right, now is where I start having to move things, right? Um, I think I hammered those into place. Okay, now it's not. Now it's not. All right, these things, I don't believe I hammered them so I can just lift them out. I may try to keep the bottom hollow. We'll see how that works out. Um, I already loosened those. All right, so let's take the smelters out. I'm sure they weren't... Okay, what? I'm sure they weren't hot to the touch. There we go. All right, I'm going to need to move these guys up. All right, so let's take this out of here. Okay, those are the gems. And then, of course, the, uh, the shards. I did buy something extra to take care of the shards, so we'll see how that works. All right, can I get you to sit in there like that? Like that. And like that. Yeah, I don't think physics is a thing, so I don't think there's going to be a problem with underneath being hollow or something like that. By the way, one thing we're probably going to try is I have been told one of the reasons or possible reasons why I'm having the issue with the shards is that I'm supposed to put a conveyor, like a uh, center one, between each of the sorters. So that may be something we're going to do. We're not doing that today, but that may be something we're going to do if we keep having that problem. I was thinking maybe a conveyor coming out of it. But, I mean, if it's throwing at an angle anyway, it might be something we just have to uh, uh, deal with, right? And that is definitely a possibility. It's probably a lot safer that way. What I would like to do is to get a fifth sorter. The reason I would do that is that way nothing would come out. If everything is going where it's supposed to be, then I don't have to worry about anything coming out, right? So for now, though, we're just going to go with what we got. All right, so we're going to pick you up and place you here. Okay, up here. Hold it a minute, right there. 
Is that the, the right direction? I think it is. Yes, it is. It is. All right. And the same thing with you. Wait a second. Let me just get you. All right. And up, up, up. Boom. Like that. All right. And let's pick that one up. Now, I might get... Um, I, I'm pretty much going to get shards when I pull that one out of there. At least one. Or maybe more than one. All right. How many were over there, actually? All right. We're just going to... Oh, and they noticed that the... Um, Hold a second, that way, right there. How many were there? There was, oh, actually, there's a bunch down there. Are those, are those gold, too? Wait a minute. Okay, pick that up, and we'll put that in there. Okay, and we'll grab these, because uh, they kind of associated, actually, I should just use them and plug them in. Oh, no, they were plugged in on the other side. All right, let's plug them in on the other side. Because they're associated with the space, right? Okay, hold on right there. All right, and boom, there we go. All right, and these all look like they're going the same way. They look like they're going the same. So you see now I have access over here to these guys. So I can just click these guys as I want. Um, although that's kind of a little ugly. Uh, let me just uh, get that out for a second. Okay, how is there gold there? That's what I'd like to know. I mean, has it been there for a while? I mean, I don't know how gold would have gotten there. Okay, hold on a minute. Let's get this stuff out of here. Uh, this is where I probably should have gotten the, um, the magnet. The magnet probably would have been useful here, right? Is that all of it? I don't see any others. All right, so we'll just put this back. And then we'll put this back. I might put something here just because this is kind of ugly at the moment. We'll see. I'll clean it up later. Uh, I just want to get it working again, right? That's what's important to me. All right, now I do need to dig some new holes over here. Uh, that's the hammer. Oh, yeah, hammer. All right, uh, hammer into place, hammer into place. Okay, that one was already... No, I just can't get the angle on it. All right. All right, just so that there's no current problems. If there's a problem, I can, I can fix it, right? All right, and this is where I need to get to this. All right, so... Okay, uh, probably dug too deep there, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I gotta clear this up. All right, I am gonna make a change though. Get that out of the way. All right, I'll clean it up if I need to. I'm gonna put stuff down there, but I do want to put the smelters down first. Uh, the change I'm making is that this is going to be gems okay and this is going to be shards the reason for that is i did buy another um smelter and that's what i want to do with it all right so pick this up and this is going to be the gold one here right okay the spout is facing the wrong way there we go yeah it's kind of ugly here uh i'll put them in and then i can put blocks around them as a matter of fact, here, hold it a second. Okay, can I get in? Okay, I got one underneath you. There you go. All right, why don't I actually put the blocks in and then I can clean it up? I think I got 20 blocks, that is. All right, right there. So there will be something new going on here, and that is, well, hopefully they'll be going in. Um, I'm not having any problems with the first two, so maybe I do need a conveyor after the first two, because the first two just seem to be going well, even when we had three of them, right? It's after that that they seem to shoot out at angles. All right, I need more of you. All right, hold it a second. Can I put that in there like that? And another one of these. 
All right, obviously I have a lot of cleaning up there to do, so why don't we just put you there. All right. Hopefully I don't have to run back and try to put a funnel in. I'm hoping that it's just going to drop into the harvester and everything will work fine. All right. Yeah, I do have some cleaning up here to do. Kind of ugly, but it is what it is. And of course, I am going to have problems. Where is the pickaxe? I'm going to have problems with lining up the, uh, the gems. All right. All right, that, that. All right, like that. Okay. All right, let me get... This is going to be the iron smelter. And it is facing the right way. All right, and now my new smelter is way over here. I was thinking of doing that for the Cloudium too. The thing is, I don't know what you're supposed to do with the Cloudium. I mean, am I supposed to make it into bars? Um, I suppose I could test it by pouring what I have into a um, the crucible. First of all, to see if it falls out, right? And then cook it on top of the furnace to see if it actually melts. And then I can put it into a mold. Where's the mold? Here it is. Um, so that would tell me whether or not I would be good enough to put a, uh, a smelter down for it. All right, so where is this one here? All right, now this is going to be uh, positioning here. Because if it goes in there, it's going to be a mess. You know, why don't I prevent that from happening for the moment? Uh, for the moment, like that. Worst case scenario, it bounces back or something like that. But I don't want it falling into like a little hole or something like that. But that is just ugly. Where is the pickaxe? There it is. Yeah, having the dirt come through the box like that is just kind of ugly. I'll clean it up over there too, you know. But I mean, I do want to get it running. That's the big thing I want. Now, am I missing anything here? Um, yeah, I'm missing something here. This is going to be a mess. Oops. Am I out? I think I'm out. All right. There we go. Uh, because I don't have one for there, do I? Yep, that's uh, 20 extra boxes all used up. Okay, well, we'll see what happens with that. Well, this thing isn't going to be turned on anyway at the moment. So let's just see if it works again. Because this is the big question over here, right? I'm only going to turn one of them on. All right, so let's see. All right, let's just look to see if things are moving the way they're supposed to. Okay, let's turn one of them on, right? Um, can I reach it from here? No, I can't. What? Okay, what? Okay, that's not working. <laughs> that is officially not working. Okay, so I turned this one on and it was a big problem. Maybe I need the rail on. All right, let me turn this one on. Oh, it's still on. All right, let me turn the other one on, on the end. Maybe I have to put the rail on for that one. All right, let's try this one. All right, let me just see here. Okay, that is doing what I want it to do, but of course there's only one turned on. I can turn the second one on and it shouldn't be a problem. Unless it is a problem, right? Oh, I didn't see. Wait a minute, what? 
Okay, yeah, that's a problem. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, turn that off, turn that off. Okay, so at the moment, the crucible is not working for this because it's throwing the shards over here. Uh, it does look... Oh, no, that one is off too, isn't it? All right, hold on a minute. All right. Um, okay, this... Oh, I have to turn the... Um, that off. Okay, I think I'm going to need to do just that. Do I have an extra? Yes, I do have an extra one. All right, so um, this one is off, so it was like going crazy with this, right? Get this going here like that. All right. Um, so I think, see, these guys are lined up okay. I'm thinking, though, what I need to do would be to put a, uh, a center one in there. All right, but it does mean I'm going to have to do a little bit more digging, and it probably means I'm going to need more... Um, Okay, I'm going to have to unlock these. Um, okay, unlock that, that, and that one. Do I have extras? I'm thinking if I'm going to do that anyway, I should probably think ahead and build more. But I mean, at the moment, I'm trying to fix one problem. I mean, I could do this. That's facing the wrong way. Like that. And then we'll take, um, where is it? Um, did I, I, I thought, oh, I didn't unhammer that one. All right, I'm not sure why that wouldn't work. I, I missed it, I guess. All right, so we'll take this and put that there. Then we'll take this one and put it there. And then I missed the, uh, where does the cork go? Oh, there it is. All right, where are the extras? Here we go. Okay, that one is going the right way. And this one is going the right way. All right, now, I think I have the valve turned off for this one. I need to turn that back on. I need to turn the valve on for this one. Otherwise, this won't get power. I don't care if this one gets power, so this one should still be okay. All right, let's see about doing this. Oh, I'm going to have to move these guys, ain't I? This one's going to be spitting gems out. Maybe it'll do it right, though. Okay. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll work. I don't know. Um, we'll see. All right, but this one has to go, uh, now it's facing the wrong way, this way, right? I'm wondering if I need a straight conveyor coming out in order to line it up properly. That's what I'm wondering. So I don't think I need them for this one because these guys are working perfectly. I'm not getting any spillage at all for iron and gold. So that's not a problem. All right, so let's turn the water on and then we'll turn one of these on I, I think what I need here is I need a rail because this one is bouncing out either that or I have to move these guys down which probably wouldn't be too hard to do right all right all right we're waiting to see a shard a shard will glow there's a shard in there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, 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 hold on a minute. Did I turn them? Okay, and... Right, okay, I guess I had that one messed up. All right, we're waiting for another shard. I think it went in. Okay, there's a shard. Straight. It went straight. Yeah, okay, so my viewers know what they're talking about. All right, what about the... Um the gem. I need a gem. Here, let me get this thing out of my hand. Actually, I don't have anything in my hand. The problem is they're not locked down. Alright. 
If I see something come through there, it should be a gem. Perfect. Okay, so that's it. The fact that they were hooked together meant that they were coming out at an angle. See, it's going perfectly straight into there now. All right, let me hammer these guys into place. First of all, I don't see any problems, all right? Um, that one... Okay, it's not letting me... Wait a minute. Okay, it's not letting me hammer them. Oh, because I had the blacksmith hammer. That's why. Duh. <laughs> Wrong hammer. Uh, here it is. I was wondering, why is it doing that? All right. Um, hold on a second. All right, let me, go, let me go back up here again. Okay, and I'm watching for any problems. Okay, it, it's, it's a, you know, it, it looks like it highlights it, but then it doesn't. So, not really sure what's going on with that. Okay, I just unselected that one. Yeah, that one right there. Right, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's all good. Uh, we can leave this in place, this in place, that. Okay, and the pipes I'm not going to bother with. I mean, I don't really select the pipes very often, do I? Um, this does seem to be working here. Um, I only have two of the... I only have one turned on right now. Oops. All right, drop that. Okay, that's two. How are the pipes? I mean, these guys are just perfectly lined up, so that's very good. And, of course, that is a battery bar. So those are going to be very useful further down the line. It's the reason why you collect the shards, actually. I mean, the little ones are useful for some things, but when you want real power, you know, you want the big ones. And I'm not seeing any spillage over here, too. These, I do believe, were there before. Hold on a minute. I'm pretty sure they were there before. All right, so let's just here. One of you guys take that in, all right? I think I'm going to need a rail on that. Oh, 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 we have a problem. All right, hold on, hold on a second. All right, uh, give me this. And it's used up. So let me get the other one over here. All right, let me turn... This off, this off, and we'll let the system clean out. And the system is now cleaned up. All right, so let me just go over here and turn this off. All right, this one is a bit of a problem because it's bouncing it down and it's falling off the side here. So I'm thinking what I could do is maybe I could put some rails up to prevent that from happening, at least here and here. So I'm going to try to do that. If that doesn't fix the situation, what I will probably do is I will basically move them down. Because I don't think, I think that will probably be the best way of handling it. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll take this T out, right? And take this out. I'll put an elbow here so that way it'll just turn. And then basically I'll just take the T, put it over here just like we added the other ones before. Um, probably the easiest solution, but I'd like to see whether or not putting in the rails would actually do anything. So I'm going to do that in the meantime. Uh, in the next episode, what I'd like to do is one thing is let's start thinking about compression and gems. Because as I understand, you can take all those little chunks here and make big gems. Just imagine the necklace we could make with that. So I'm going to hold on. I can actually do these guys because the thing is that um, uh, they don't use gems. 
But I'm thinking those really good gold ones we have there, uh, imagine putting a really big compressed gem on that one. That could be good. Um, in this case, these are the runs, by the way. Maybe I'll just throw them back in. Um, hold on a second. Let's just see what we get from this one. All right, hold on a second. Put that down. Pick that up. Put that down. Pick that up. Where is it? That way? Okay, where's that hammer? There it is. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to do with the hammer. Boom. Is it my imagination or is that a big sword? Probably my imagination. Anyway, I'm going to run this back right now. All right, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use rails to fix the situation. If the situation is not fixed with rails, I'm just going to do what I said and move them. It's probably what I should do anyway. It's just that in the future, if I'm having an issue packing them together, I'd like to know if the rails were actually going to fix the situation, you know? So what we'll do is we'll add some more stuff. We'll expand. I'm thinking maybe we can put a smelter in for the, um, the Cloudium. I don't know if that's actually going to work. I'm very curious as to how much this is going to get me. Wow. That's all iron, too. Wow. All right. And I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to put this with the rest of the money. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today. So I think we got the system working a little bit better here. And oh, it's not over here. The last thing I bought was the uh, these things over here. And boom. Okay, 12,895 works for me. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So if you are interested in this series and you want to see more, please give the video a like. Maybe say something in the comments. And of course, subscribing is always a great way to show your support for a series. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.